So in the last video we left off having to find most of our tokens, we have a couple more left to do and then we're actually able to run our Lexer. We have one special token uh, to create called T underscore ignore in lowercase and that just tells Ply anytime you see any of the tokens in here just ignore them and pretend they're not there. So we're going to ignore spaces. That means that when Ply sees 1 plus 2 it's the same as 1 space plus 2. Ply is going to uh, ignore all the spaces in between the characters. So you'll notice that we don't have all of our tokens defined, we don't have int, float or name defined. So we needed to create functions for those because they're a bit more complicated. So we said def t underscore int, we pass it the variable t and we create a string that's going to be a, re a regular expression and that is going to be slash d plus which just means any characters uh, whose length is more than one. So if we see one that's uh, an integer if we see one two three four five that's also an integer it can be infinite length the next thing we do is we convert the tokens value from a string to an integer this is because at the moment we have t dot value which is part of the token object and we need to convert that to an integer so we say t dot value equals integer t dot value then we return t t is our token object so we're just getting the value attribute of the token object and we're converting it to an integer so that python can actually perform mathematical operations on it we can add them subtract them stuff like that and then we're returning it the next thing we want to do is we want to create our float so we say def t underscore float we pass it the token object again we create a regular expression string and we say a float is equal to any integer followed by a dot, followed by an integer of zero or more characters. Whoops, of one or more characters. So essentially this means if we see 1.1 or 1.2, that's a float. If we see 1.45, that's a float as well. Floats can be of any length, either side of the decimal point. If we had have gone with the asterisk instead of the plus, that would have meant one dot nothing would have been a float. We want it to be one or more characters on the left and followed by one dot followed by one or more characters on the right which means we actually need to put a plus in here. So now we need to say t dot value is equal to float t dot value to convert our token value into the float and we return t again. Finally we have one more to do we've said def t underscore name we pass it the token variable and we say r it's a regular expression and we have to specify what is allowed to be a variable name. So we're going to use things called character classes, which are these square brackets. Uh, inside them, what we do is we say a to z, a to big z, or underscore. So at the moment, this means a variable name can be one character, and it can be any character, a to z, lowercase, or any character, a to z, uppercase, or it can be an underscore. But we want more than one, we want variables to be more than one letter long. So we're going to create another character class. We're going to say a to z, lowercase, well, we can say uppercase, we say lowercase, a to z. We're going to allow underscores and we're going to say not denying. So this means the first character can't be a number because we have a character class, which means this is the first character and this is going to be the second character and any character after that because what we're going to do is we're going to put a star here. The star means zero or more, so we don't actually have to have a second character. We could have a one character variable, but we, if we have more than one character, the first character has to be a to z, lowercase or uppercase, or an underscore. Uh, and the second character can be any of these. That means the first character can't be a number. Obviously because anytime we see a number, our lexer thinks it's an integer or a float. So this uh, gets around that. And underneath here what we say is t.type is equal to name. Whoops, and then we return t. Finally we have one more function to make. This function is called t underscore error in lowercase. And the reason for this is if we have a f if we find an error when we're getting our tokens, then we want to run this function. So we say print illegal characters, and we can print out the value. Or we can just leave it like that, and then we can say t dot lexer dot dot skip, and we pass it one. So this just skips one token onwards. Then finally, we want to actually create our lexer. So we say lexer is equal to lex dot lex. If up here we hadn't have said import ply dot lex as lex, if we had just left it as import ply, we'd have had to say lexer is equal to ply dot lex dot lex. So we just keep it simple and we say lex dot lex. We'll save this and we'll run it. 
and we get no output uh, that's okay because we haven't actually provided it with any input yet so we need to provide our lexer with some input so we want to say lexer dot input and we'll just pass it a string say one plus two and then we'll come down here and we'll say while true and we need to keep grabbing tokens so we'll say toke is equal to lexer dot token and we'll say if not toke break otherwise print toke Let's see, does this work? Uh, let's just run that. And you can see we get three tokens. We get int, plus, and int. Let's just do a slightly more complicated example. Um, let's just say abc equals one, two, three. You can see we get a token, which is a name, a variable name. We get the equals character, and then we get another integer, which is one, two, three. And we'll say dot four, five, six, because now it is a float. And let's just see, does that work? Uh, no, we have an illegal character. Okay, so the reason this has not worked is because it's recognizing 123 as an int and 456 as an int, but then it's finding the dot and thinking that's an illegal character. To fix that, we need to just kick our float and we need to put it above our integer uh, token so that it looks for floats before it looks for integers. Run this now. You can see we get name abc is equal to float 1234.456 so that's our likes are created and in the next video what we'll be doing is creating our parser so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe and i'll see you next time